party reached the bottom and moved towards the cave opening. Now they needed to form a marching order. It didn't matter all that much outdoors, but now, going into a dark cave, it kind of mattered. Protecting their most vulnerable could be critical to their survival. They decided to have Lightmane and Nightwind lead the way, followed by Teneth and Latia. Latia had her bow ready and would walk behind Nightwind, giving her the ability to shoot over the dwarf's head, since she was more than a foot taller than him. Jack, with Belfin and Phileas by his side, were next. But they told Jack how sometimes they might move in front of him or behind him, which he understood. That left Shinfia bringing up the rear. She felt she was the best person to be in the back, mostly due to her speed as a monk. Belfin lit and carried a torch. They felt he was the best choice to carry it, since all three humans were next to him and needed the torchlight the most, but also because everyone else usually needed to use both of their hands more than he did. He couldn't hide, though, while carrying a torch, so he told them that sometimes he might have no choice but to just drop it on the ground, which they understood. Besides, if another needed to light a torch, they could. Latia felt like she should say something before they went inside speaking quietly. I call on my goddess, Shila, and all of the gods who will listen. Guide our path, guide our minds, and guide our hearts. Now, as Nightwind just said a little while ago, let's go destroy some goblins. They walked up to the cave entrance, listened, and looked inside. But all was silent. The light outside allowed them to see inside the cave fairly well. The cave opening went in maybe ten feet and turned into basically a four-way intersection. Lightmane shaking his head. Oh, look, three paths right away. Great. The party of eight adventurers for the first time entered a cave.